My name is Brian Williams. I'm the Professor of Medicine at the University of Leicester and the University Hospitals of Leicester NHS Trust. So under normal circumstances, a normal blood pressure in an adult um, is less than 120 over 80. And if your blood pressure is persistently elevated, and it's the persistent elevation which is important, then it can cause damage to blood vessels, the kidneys, the heart and the brain. And that's why we're interested in detecting people with a high blood pressure. And we call the high blood pressure hypertension. About 25% or one quarter of all adults have high blood pressure that might benefit from treatment. And at once you get to the age of about 60, then about half of all adults have high blood pressure. So it's quite a common problem that gets more frequent with ageing. As a doctor, I often get asked by patients, well, what causes it? Well, in about 90% or 9 out of 10 cases, we can't identify a cause. It's just that your blood pressure tracks at a slightly higher level than what would be ideal. Uh, and in most cases, we simply identify it and treat it. One of the big problems about high blood pressure is that it really doesn't cause any symptoms at all. And that creates a problem for us in medicine, because if you don't have symptoms, the only way we can detect it is by routine screening. And that is why having your blood pressure measured by your doctor is really part of the routine examination your doctor will do when he has the opportunity to see you, perhaps about another illness, or he may call you in to have a check periodically for blood pressure. Um, the other thing I would say is that if your doctor measures your blood pressure or you measure it yourself and it's high, don't be alarmed by that because quite often the second time or third time it's measured the blood pressure falls to a normal value. Quite a lot of us get a slightly high blood pressure when we have our blood pressure measured for the first time. There are two approaches to treatment. The first are things that you can do yourself. We know that if you have a, a diet that is high in salt for example some people are particularly sensitive to salt and their blood pressure will rise. So a diet that has a reduced level of salt may help lower your blood pressure. Also, because blood pressure is associated with increased risk of cardiovascular disease, if you have high blood pressure, we would often recommend a number of lifestyle changes to try and reduce your blood pressure and your risk. Inevitably, we would recommend that you stop smoking if you smoke. Inevitably, we'd recommend that you try and maintain your body weight as an ideal body weight by taking some regular exercise. If you drink alcohol, as many people do, then that's not a problem if you have high blood pressure, but if you drink too heavily, it can put your blood pressure up, particularly binge drinking, which can really produce a surge in blood pressure. So we would recommend that you have a sensible and moderate alcohol intake. In terms of diet itself, we would recommend that you eat the usual uh, vegetables and try and reduce the amount of fat in your diet, all of which will be important in reducing your overall cardiovascular risk. We have a number of medications available. Most of them need to be taken once a day. Your doctor will select the medication that is best suited to you based on your overall profile and your age, etc. Now another question that I often get asked when, uh, particularly if it's a younger patient with high blood pressure, is whether or not it runs in families. Well, there is no doubt that if your parents have high blood pressure, that on average you have a slightly higher risk of developing high blood pressure. So if your mother and father have high blood pressure, make sure you get your blood pressure checked. Um, in many cases it will be normal, but in some cases you may have inherited some of these unknown factors uh, that give rise to an elevation in blood pressure that appear to be genetically determined. So in terms of further advice, if you've recently had your blood pressure measured as a one-off or you've measured it yourself at the supermarket and you found it to be a bit high, um, then I would say this, that if it's the first time it's been measured, it will need to have repeated measures by your doctor or the nurse in your doctor's surgery just to find out where it levels off at and to see whether it's persistently high. If it is persistently high, as I've discussed, lifestyle changes yourself can make a major impact on your blood pressure particularly maintaining an ideal body weight, moderating your alcohol intake, and trying to avoid so foods that contain too much salt in the diet. If that doesn't work, and it doesn't for everybody, then you may need drug treatment. But I would like to reassure you that these days, the drugs that we use are really very well tolerated, and they are incredibly effective at controlling blood pressure, and importantly, 
in reducing the risk of stroke and heart disease later in life. For more information, visit www.nhs.uk.